if you want to add a bit of zhuzh, you know? Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. Today's video is very exciting because I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite things in the world, shoes. You probably guessed it right. Well, bags and shoes are my favorites, but you know what I mean. It's that time of the year when I go a little bit crazy about buying shoes. And that is simply because I love them. I think they complete any outfit and there's so many new pieces coming out pretty much every day on the market. You might note that I'm not wearing any makeup on my eyes and that is because I am trying not to, considering that I have very sensitive eyes to allergies at the moment, so. Yeah, hope you don't mind a slightly different look. Straight hair, this is it. Let's start talking about shoes because I have actually four, five, six new pairs to show you. Yeah, I went a little bit crazy, but I think you will understand why. Before we start, I wanted to show you actually what I got. I mean, it's impossible, but I'll do my best. It's like Jenga and this is not even it, guys. Ah! I have like a huge, 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 huge farfetch haul. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes to open. And I went a little bit crazy in the shoe department because we love them. Before I start, I just wanted to say I love farfetch. There's so many reasons for it, but I'll give you like two very obvious ones. First, you can find so many incredible pieces from all around the world. It's a marketplace for kind of like brands and multi-brand stores and like so many different like home beauty now as well, fashion pieces that can be found on this platform because you could be getting a pair of shoes from, I don't know, I'm getting stuff from Italy, from Netherlands, Netherlands, from Rome, again Italy, from more Netherlands. So from all around the world, you get these pieces straight to you. And very often on Farfetch, I find things that I cannot find anywhere else. Also, I think that like the variety of colors of like, I don't know, like heel heights of sizes, is just great. As simple as that. Other than that, I actually have some really great news for you. You will get 10% off on Farfetch for new and existing customers with the code 10TK. TK, my initials, you know, 10, 1, 0, TK. That's it, all capital letters. I'll insert the code here so you can see it. And I will link all the products that I will be showing you in this video in the description box below so that you can shop them in case you like them because I'm pretty sure you will. I think they're epic. Before we start, I just wanted to say if you love watching videos about fashion, about luxury fashion, unboxings and all of those good things, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. It would mean a lot to me because my community is the best community but let's start straight away. One thing I'm gonna touch upon are the spring summer shoe trends because there are many, we know it, and I have, well, I think I should have unboxed this first. Yeah, maybe I should unbox it first and then just show you what I have. Okay, now we got it. So, six pairs of shoes to unbox and to talk to you about what I think are the best trends for this season. So here's a pair that I really wanted for so long and I honestly have so many Amina Wadi pairs. Yes, it's a pair of Amina Wadis. I have so many. I probably do not need another pair, but I really, really like these. And it's, I don't have anything like them to be very honest with you. I do not tend to go a lot for fluo pieces, but this is very spectacular, I thought with the kind of like, can you see the signature martini heel and some crystal bits in the front and as well as obviously like kind of clear uh, plexi to just have this beautiful crystal detailing decorate your foot. Now, I really, really love, love, love these sandals, but more than that, what caught my eye is like just the simplicity of it and the crystals. I think that this, summer one of the biggest trends i mean i think it's been going on for a while now but one of the biggest 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 trends are crystals there's nothing more to say and for that reason i also got two pairs of paris texas heels now i love the mules i actually received one of these in color black with all black crystals for my birthday and i do not actually have many orange heels believe it or not i know it's shocking but i love that this heel is not too tall at all so i can even wear it for like day to day it's super easy and very very sparkly like right now the light is very bright so you can't see how much it sparkle but 
I think this is beautiful style of shoe. It's a mule, which we know is a huge, huge trend for um, this summer, but it's also like a kind of like metallic plus sparkly, which are huge trends. And I think like, I always do these videos, like do not buy any other shoes until you watch this video when it comes to like beginning of the season. But I also wanna show you some great pieces that are also affordable, like Paris, Texas, because it's great quality and great prices. So if you are interested in this style, do check them out in the description box below. Look how beautiful is this. Sparkle or what? really love them. I feel like I have another pair of Paris Texas shoes, but I feel like I should diversify it a little bit and show you a pair of Balenciaga shoes I have. I got two pairs because I could not decide. They're so good. I really wanted them. And there's a whole story about it that you might or might not already know. Who remembers the ankle booty that I got from Balenciaga that was insane? Well, I'm just like really, really in love with that work and the studs and I wanted to get the mule too. I think for me, this is going to be pure perfection this spring summer, and this is going to be one of the hottest shoes this summer. Trust me on that one. When I tell you that this is the It Girl sandal, this is it, okay? So look no more. Your It Girl sandal mule is here. The heel is not too, too high. It's perfect for anything, a suit even, jeans, dresses, mini skirts, Coperni A-line, we got you covered. Wear them with your Balenciagas. <laughs> I really, really love them. I think they're wonderful. What I also love about them is that they're kind of wide. Honestly, the amount of shoes on the market that are so narrow that you put on and it's just like your foot is coming out from everywhere. Like it's just not flattering at all. I think these are gonna be really flattering and very simple, very wearable, urban, cool. I am obsessed. Plus, 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 plus. They remind me of my first ever, um, I got a giant part-time bag from Balenciaga in color papyrus when I was like 22, I don't know, or 21, 22. Either way, I remember when I first saw the bag, this is like a complete like side story. I remember when I first saw the bag in like in real life, I thought, oh my God, who's ever gonna afford a bag that's over like a thousand pounds? lived in UK, so I was like, how is that even possible? I was a student and I really wanted that bag. And I think I dreamt about the bag for like a year and then finally I got it in color papyrus. I wore it all the time. I really, 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 really love that bag and this reminds me so much of it, so. It was just, it had to happen. And in fact, I loved it so much, I wanted it in every color, but I stopped myself at only one more. Now I can't, I can't remember, but I know that there was a color green, like a perfect green color for summer that I really, really wanted as well. But I decided to stop myself on just black and white because guys, these shoes are just something that I knew I will wear over and over and over again. And honestly, like if I'm traveling, all I need to pack is white pair and a black pair and I don't need anything else. Do we agree? You know, it's honestly like all a girl needs. A pair of like perfect mule for spring or summer in black and in white. And then you can go crazy. You can pack your crystal shoes and your pink shoes and your red shoes and you might not even wear them, but you are covered. So that's what you need. You will be fine. I got them in size 40, which is my size. I'm 39, 40, but always when it comes to mules, I like to give myself more generous space. You know what I mean? Especially in the summer months. Now, if you think this is just like high heel, a uh, hole. No, not correct. I think the Gia and Rosie, they always, always do an incredible job every spring summer. Now, I've spoken about uh, Rosie's collection for Gia many times before. I also took you to Paris Fashion Week presentation where I presented pretty much all of her sparkly. She did a lot of sparkly shoes. Like I told you, sparkly is all over it. Like, you know, even for simple shoes. But I wanted to show you something very classic for every day that I think would be super cool. And it's a pair of flat sandals. Now, they're flat, but they're very flattering because the sole is supporting the foot well. So you don't look like a penguin. You're more like 
you know, feminine and gentle. And what I really like is the shape of the sandal and the way that the belt goes, the way that the little cinturino goes across the kind of, you know, top of the foot. And then there is nothing like in between the toes except this like kind of, how do I even describe it? Like button thing. I think this is like a really, really beautiful design. Now, when it comes to Gia and Rosie Huntington Whiteley, they always do like itch shoes. You always know they will be sold out. You always know they will be popular. They're minimalistic enough, but cute enough for me to like them because sometimes when they're just too minimalistic, I'm also like, honestly, I'm not gonna spend my money on this. It just looks like anything, you know? It could be anything. But this, I think is quite beautiful. It's specific. It has some character to it. And they come in so many different colors. Like on Farfetch, I actually really struggled to decide which color to go for because as a girl, there's so many. There's a beautiful nude like skin tone color, but unfortunately I have so many nude sandals. Like I have Valentino, I have Hermes, I have Amina Moadis. So I was like, let me go for white because I actually do not own any white flat sandals. So it was like perfection. Do we agree? Before I kind of like move on with other like styles of shoes that I want to show you, I wanted to also discuss another pair of Paris, Texas shoes that I got. And these are like, these will cover a big trend for SS22 and something that I have not spoken about before on my channel. I mean, you might be thinking, mm, there's nothing that you haven't spoken about before because you've spoken about everything. Like sparkly shoes, check. Crystals, check. And like clear kind of crystal, check. Mule, city style, check, you know? But a bit of a wedge. It's not something that you see often on my channel. And this color green is just here to stay. When I saw these Paris, Texas shoes, I mean, they look like they're size 35, but they're 40. When you see them, you're probably thinking, wait, this is so strange. Like, like are we going back to the wedge? And we are. I actually, like, we know it. Like, you know, the platforms come back. The platform's been around. Everybody's gone crazy about the Versace platform sandals, no? Like, for me, the Versace platform sandals are like, ugh, remember from my last Farfetch haul? I wore them, I'll insert the picture here. I wore them, I love them. And I thought I'd get a wedge, which looks very comfortable, especially when you live like in Milan and the roads are just not exactly, let's say, smooth. You don't want your heel falling into those cobbles. So this is perfection. You can wear these to Apollo polo game. You can wear these to anything that does not have an even ground. You can wear these too because wedge is really, really comfortable. Besides like all the reasons, isn't this color just stunning? Now imagine I'm just wearing a simple white top, like nothing special. Imagine a pair of jeans and these shoes and a pastel mini Kelly. Or let's go for shorts or a dress or a skirt. Like I think there's such a cool girl sandal or mule that this basically covers it all. There's a mule, there's a wedge and there's a pop of color and we like it all, all of it. We love, love, love. And I know you might think like, okay, so <laughs> what else is left? I think also like a big trend are like shirling shoes in general that are done a little bit more comfortable and fuzzy because we are just getting more and more comfortable. We want stuff to be comfortable. Okay, so now that I've shown you all the new shoes that I got. There's actually still two more things that I want to show you, but let's talk about shoes more. I want to show you my most worn shoes so far this season and one of the pairs that I think are so beautiful and have to be mentioned are these Rene Calvilla stunning goddess shoes. So, I mean, they do not really need any words. They're basically perfectly crystallized. They have this crystallized moment going all around the heel and all around your ankle, which makes them like an ultimate red carpet shoes. But not only that, like perfect evening wear shoe for me. And you know, crystals, elegance, it's all there. Shoes that I recently got and I already worn surprisingly a lot are these new Jimmy Choo Raffia, uh, kind of like a nude mule sandal. These are like the Jimmy Choo signature shoes. I have them in plenty of colors and I love them. I love the Raffia because I think it's a beauty of the raw material. Wait, let's focus, there we go. The beauty of the raw material that always, always wins they are just simply stunning. And I love the nude tones on these shoes, just 
love to wear them with suits because this adds like a power suit and this like adds a bit of femininity it's perfection i have a lot of jimmy choo favorites as you guys know these are the shoes that i also worn on a red carpet like the thing is with satin is that they you always leave a bit of like a toe mark which is i guess not the most attractive thing now that i show them to you but they are just so beautiful like a satin shoe cinderella beautiful sandal i really want to get them in more colors in like this beautiful metallic lilac that i saw <sighs> mind blown how beautiful that is like this sandal this is not my most comfortable jimmy choo shoe for my foot because we all have different feet and we all like different things but for me this is the most beautiful one on the foot itself i've spoken a lot about the sparkly trend and i'm not gonna finish yet because say that shoe in full crystal is just it's absolute necessity i dedicated these shoes a reel i dedicated these shoes like basically a youtube video and an instagram post because i just think they are like the beautiful stunning incredibly flattering sexy shoe that jimmy Choo could give us and what i think is so great is that they're not just for spring or summer they are pretty much all year round there. You can wear these for New Year's Eve, they'd be perfect. Now, these are the shoes that I mentioned earlier. I wore them recently. You can't really tell because where you step is not like here. You step, I don't even know, in a very small part of the foot. They are very heavy, but they're very comfy. Like there's nothing not comfy about this shoe. And I think they make you, well, first of all, they make you like two meters tall, which is okay with me because my boyfriend's quite a bit taller than me. But even if he wasn't, I would not care. I did date shorter guys and I was taller than them in high heels. And honestly, who cares? Are people like appearance? No, people are so much more than appearance. People are what makes them like their personality, their character, their, even like mocking people on their height is like the, the the saddest thing I've ever had. I don't know why I'm like, like this just made me so angry <laughs> now, but mocking people on their height is just unnecessary, especially considering that that is something nobody can change. So, you know, I think as long as the person has the confidence, that's the most beautiful thing in the world. And you should not let anybody take that away from you. Like you should always, always, always be so sure in who you are. Like. Even like in my last video, I got somebody criticizing me for like the way I talk, the way I present things. Like, do you think I'm gonna change? Of course not. I'm so secure in this that I don't even need to express it, but it really bothers me when people bully other people because then not everybody is secure in who they are and what they bring to the table. Anyway, um, I love these shoes and you should wear them if you like them, no matter the height, no matter what. If you like it, wear it, okay? I will link also these below because I think they're fabulous. Let's get a little bit sh like kind of closer to the ground. Like let's get more grounded. I wore these a lot. These are the classic row um, sandal, very minimalistic. So if you're that girl that likes that kind of aesthetic, this is the shoe for you. I got them in this kind of like greenish, almost like teal color, but more on the green spectrum of the color palette. And I really like them because I think they're so stunning on the foot, especially when I'm a little bit tanned and you know, when everything looks so beautiful, like fresh pedicure, nude, mm, delicious. But they basically go with pretty much every outfit and that's why I like to pack them in my bag. If you like the row, you will love these shoes and they come in pretty much every color plus multicolor if you want to add a bit of zhuzh, you know? Now I've shown you all of these sexy kind of shoes, like, you know, trendy shoes, etc. But I haven't shown you probably one of the most man repelling shoes out there, but the most classic shoe that you can have. Francis Cooler Birkenstock collab is for me something that I absolutely wore to the, like, yeah, I cannot even tell you how much. Comfortable, like I feel like they're just great for my posture, for the way I feel, I travel in them. Like I put cashmere socks on and these and I travel in it and it's so, man repelling and i love it and it's so comfortable and so fashionable at the same time how is it possible to take all of those boxes i don't know ask princess school and birkenstock they did a great job and i love birkenstocks for me like a man should not really i don't know like 
I don't really like seeing a guy in flip-flops. I like to see a guy in Birkenstocks. I just think it's a little bit more smart or like flip-flop. I don't know. I'm not so sure. I quite like the look of Birkenstocks in general. And last but not the least, my men repelling. What is this even? Slide from the row. They're so, they look like, I know that so many of you will say like, this looks like something my grandma would wear around the house, like blah, blah, blah. But this is a grandma shoe that I like, you know? It's fully lined with shirling. Remember what I said, shirling is super hot. You will find it everywhere this season. But I really love these shoes because they're comfortable, because they're classic, and because I just, I just love them, okay? Sue me. I think they're great. Somebody else might think they're horrendous. And that's the beauty of this world, that we all have different opinions to share and not to fight over, okay? We do not fight. We respect each other's opinions. We have different opinions. I might think something, you might, I even have sometimes different opinion with my boyfriend. Like, remember, he does not think I'm always right. And I do think I'm always right. So you know what I mean? Like it's okay and he's like the love of my life. Yet we have different opinions. I even have different opinions with my sister who has same parents as me and same upbringing as me and same exact same values were inbuilt in us. So how is it possible that we have different opinions on the beauty of things or whatever? Well, it's quite rare that we have different opinions, but we do have different opinions and we agree to disagree it's fine you guys okay now not on the shoe of shoe of topic not on the topic <sighs> not on the topic of shoes i got two more things that i wanted to show you and i'm dying to see them one is a versace dress that i wore as a sample to their design week event and I loved it so much that I had to get it which happens to me like I would say 50-60% of the time when I wear a sample I, I choose always what I'm gonna wear to the events and very often I love it so much that I end up buying it in the end uh, as you guys know very often when we go to the events we get dressed by the brand we pick what we want to wear but because it's just a sample like a prototype of something that's coming out later on we have to return it and on this occasion the item is already out there and it's this Versace dress that I really, really love. I worn it at the Design Week event with the wedge that I've just shown you before. So I cannot wait to wear this again because it is exceptionally stunning. And I haven't actually been in Serbia this year almost, I don't even think once maybe, can't remember. But the point is that I would wear this, something like this when I go out there for like a night out or for an event or for summer, summer outings. But then something else that I could not wait to get. I did not get any pair of shoes from Math match and match but i got a dress because this wonderful georgian brand is also doing ready to wear and this is a maxi dress a black dress with some sparkly detailing which is also a huge 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 trend this season and i have really high hopes for this dress it also has a sparkly cutout and cutout and a sparkly detailing here i think it's gonna be beautiful so you'll probably see it now on the screen because i'm trying it on especially for you. So that's about it when it comes to this huge farfetch haul, some of my most worn shoes and the trends for spring summer shoes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other shoes that you think that I don't have in my collection but I should have, say it now or be quiet forever. Love you lots. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Bye.